So we're outside the building where the Wooten High School is having its commencement ceremony and the keynote speaker was supposed to be Corrine Jean-Pierre, the White House spokesperson. Boo! She has been a supporter of genocide. Actually, she said there isn't a genocide going on in Gaza and we didn't think it was very appropriate for her to speak to the high schoolers. So Jen, what happened? So I was able to get inside and I was prepared to disrupt this war criminal. She's not a role model. She should not be speaking to our young people. And she's laundering a genocide to the American people. So she should not be comfortable in any spaces, period. And uh, I guess she is afraid of us. So she canceled at the last moment. They got a replacement speaker. And it's just very ironic that this woman is afraid of us when this administration is literally killing children every single day. Like, and they're not afraid of that, but they're afraid of the American people and facing facing the, the repercussions of their actions, essentially. Well, we're glad that since we put out publicly, people should come to protest. They heard about it and she canceled. So we take that as a win for the pro-Palestine side. Yay! Every time is Jean-Pierre lies! Every time Jean-Pierre lies! A baby in Gaza dies! A baby in Gaza dies! A baby in Gaza burns! A baby in Gaza stars! A baby in Gaza stars! Palestine is an everyone issue! And we look to the young students in high schools right here in D.C. who have been walking out of class, who have been joining us in our protests, who have been planning some of our protests, and we are in solidarity with them. We do not allow for war criminals and talking pieces like the White House press secretary to roam free in Washington, D.C. and anywhere. So we will continue to make noise, we will continue to disrupt, and we will continue to be with the people of Gaza and in solidarity with them.